everyone, Stacy Sinclair here, and today I'm going to talk about three great reasons why you might want to consider learning a musical instrument or signing your kids up for music lessons, even in this physically distanced time of online learning. Let's get started. So the first reason to think about is the sense of a well-rounded education. I know that almost every family has spent the summer wondering if they should enroll their kids in distance learning or go hybrid or join up with a learning pod or get a tutor or homeschool. These are tough decisions. But as we're coming into the fall, a lot of those decisions now have been made and we're ready to go with our kids' academic success. Reading and math are taken care of. But we all want a well-rounded education for ourselves and for our kids, and the arts are a big part of that. Learning an instrument gives kids a sense of control during these uncertain times. The amount of practice you put in tends to provide really measurable, tangible results for kids, whether that's learning a new song or mastering a new skill on their instrument. It's a great feeling. Kids may not be natural practicers, I know that I needed things like stickers on the calendar and rewards in order to spend my time practicing. I still have fond memories of getting a little treat or a pack of crayons if I had a sticker on the calendar for every day of the week without missing any practice. But I did learn through that how to set goals and grow as a person and grow in my skill in the arts. And that goal setting skill is transferable for your kids, for all sorts of other things, whether it's learning a sport once we can all be together again, or working on academic success or learning goals like saving money. So learning an instrument provides an outlet for a well-rounded education. It, cre it fosters creativity and the arts, but it also fosters those skills of setting goals, of setting aside time to work on something and get better at it, and having a sense of control in a really uncertain time. All around, a good thing. So the second reason that you might want to consider music lessons during physically distanced learning or virtual learning is actually because of the indoor activity. Right now I'm outside and I'm in my yard and it's beautiful out. Your kids might be playing outside. You might have a pool in the backyard or in your neighborhood, or maybe you were lucky enough to go camping or take some other kind of vacation and get away. But once we are into winter, it's coming, it's going to be cold and rainy and snowy and your kids aren't going to want to play outside all that much anymore. And if they're not already begging you to do it, they're probably going to want to be playing Fortnite and Minecraft inside. I know we all have concerns about screen time, especially if your kids are doing distance learning and their regular school is already on a screen. The thing to keep in mind is that while a music lesson might be a part of your kid's daily screen time, music practice is not. So when your kid is practicing an instrument, they're actually having some analog time away from the screen. Building upon that sense of goal setting and pacing yourself, when kids set aside that 30 minutes a day, an hour a day for older kids to really work on that creative skill, that's time that they're spending creating and thinking and working toward a goal that doesn't involve the computer. I know that for some families with reluctant practicers, they've even traded fun screen time for mid practicing minutes. So for example, for every minute that you're practicing, you can earn a minute or two of Fortnite. It works like a charm. I have to admit that I didn't want to practice voluntarily until I was almost in high school, but I appreciate the reminders my parents gave me to be developing a skill on my own away from other things that maybe wasted my time a little bit more. So learning an instrument really does help to control screen time. The third reason you might want to consider music lessons for your kids is that social piece. Right now, we're all thinking about our kids' social and emotional well-being while we are learning at home. There might be a sibling to play with or a sibling to argue with, 
But other than that, most of our kids are really separated from other people. When they learn an instrument, they have the interaction with the teacher, but there are also lots of opportunities out there, whether it's socially distanced outdoors while it's still warm and nice out, or a lesson with a group through group music lessons on Zoom or the school's orchestra program or things like that, where kids are able to take what they're working on and learning on their own with their instrument and interact with other people. Music at its heart is a social activity and the real payoff is being able to make music with other people. By getting good at an instrument right now, your kid does get that piece of social interaction where you're interacting with the teacher or the Zoom class or the group lesson or the folk group online. But as soon as we're all able to be together, those programs will be in person once again and the friendships and relationships that people make playing music will last, whether it's online or in person. So having that social emotional piece of being able to get to know other people through music is a really great side benefit of learning an instrument. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more information about learning the violin or other instruments, and we'll see you next time.